Hi guys and welcome to another video. So let's j jump right into it. So let's uh, talk about Float and Double, which are basically the same type of data, but it only changed the precision. Okay, so let's create a double object. Double object. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm gonna go with height. Okay, and I'm gonna type my height, I guess it's one meter. 78 if i'm not mistaken so this is uh a float number okay it's a it has some value between after the decimal point okay but let's uh print this uh on the screen so you guys can see what i'm talking about very quickly so there you go so why we have two different ways to represent decimal values in c-sharp so let's start with the pi number okay i'm gonna go create pi d which the d is the plus fix for this for double okay so i'm gonna create two variables uh there's some 38 I guess 32 for 6 yeah, that, it must be that okay so I'm gonna create a PF pi F which is going to be the same but there is something uh, that you must know okay guys so I'm gonna try to execute this I'm gonna concatenate some a string right here double plus pi D and then I'm gonna print with the float pi f. So as you guys can see, I'm printing these two variables, okay? And as you guys can see, float it has a warning, it represents a double. I cannot convert a double to a float, so I, I must use because in C sharp the default uh, float weight, floating point number, very uh, float weight type is double okay so if i want to use float i must use a pause fix f okay so i'm gonna run this and you guys when I, you, you you see what i'm talking about so yeah there you have so that's uh the output you see double and you see 3.14 15 92 65 38 32 46 but when it comes to float it only has six um decimal uh values okay so what ha what ha what is happening here so it turns out that the float it only represents can have represent six decimal values and when it comes to double it only it, it can store much more decimal uh values okay there is another uh data type we can handle that can handle more uh, precision but I'm gonna talk about them that later okay so that's the difference if you wanna use float you can do it actually if you use float you're gonna use less memory that's something to keep in mind uh, if you wanna use double you're gonna use the double of the float uh, in memory I'm talking about memory but I'm gonna discuss about this later when we, we talk about memory management okay so thanks for watching this video and see you guys next time